Hello and welcome in our YouTube channel Metallurgical Facts. So this question is basically from grade 2022 and this question was asked by one of the student but I was not free at that time so today I am doing this video and this question is very nice and easy. Okay, so question is during solidification of pure metal the radius of critical nucleus at an undercooling of 10 Kelvin is. So basically they are asking about this radius of critical nucleus. Okay, so this question is uh, related to homogeneous nucleation and you can say that this is uh, from the kinetics of nucleation okay so this question is very basic in this in this type of question they may ask radius of critical nucleus or they may ask the gibbs free energy uh, for the critical nucleus also okay so given data are here solid liquid interface is given melting point is given latent heat of fusion is given so some basic points i will uh, tell you here so this nucleation uh, nucleation kinetics basically starts from uh, from the assumptions that uh, some of the vol volume change between the parent phase to product phase okay so uh, gives free energy may be a written as delta g is equals to v into delta g v i will explain the terms also okay so a into sigma so what is this v v is the volume of that uh, that phase okay that could uh, that uh, spherical shape and some in some cases they may ask about the cubic shape also okay so accordingly you have to choose so here uh, we will uh, assume that the shape is uh, spherical okay and this area is surface area basically uh, for a spherical particle okay so this delta gv this delta gv is free energy change accompanying the formation of a uh, spherical new phase particle and this sigma is basically the gives uh, this uh, is surface energy change per unit area okay so here this solid liquid interface energy is uh, our sigma value okay and uh, how to how to solve this delta gv so for this delta gv i will tell you again okay so first of all i will i will elaborate more that delta g is equals to v v at v place of v we can write 4 by 3 pi r cube into delta gv plus area 4 pi r square into sigma okay so whenever we will take the uh, maximum values means we will differentiate this uh, this delta g uh, with respect to this r we will get the maximum value and that maximum value will be corresponds to critical value okay so here they are asking about the critical radius so this is how we can get the critical values so that critical values basically uh, explained by the superscript putting star okay so that is r strict so r star is equals to so by differentiating we will get we, we can get this r star r star is equals to minus 2 sigma by delta gv okay so this is our main formula in this uh, in this question okay so here we will take we will take this r r star is equals to minus 2 sigma by delta gv and this delta gv which is basically the uh, free energy change uh, uh, sorry gives free energy change per unit volume so it may also defined as delta gv is equals to delta h into delta t by tm okay so this delta h is basically latent heat is heat of fusion and this delta t is under cooling okay or we can also say the degree of supercooling so this tm is melting temperature melting point okay so here in this question they have given this solid liquid interface energy means this sigma is given here so we can find this delta gv from this this equation by putting this delta h delta t and tm which is given in the data okay so first of all we will calculate this delta gv so delta gv is equals to delta h so delta h value is 1.88 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by 10 that is under cooling value and tm tm is 1356 okay so suppose they will not give under cooling so they will give the working temperature also they can also give the working temperature so you can find that uh, delta t uh, like that delta t is equals to uh, tm minus t okay so this will be this is also okay but in this question they have directly given the under cooling values so we have put the here the values okay so delta gv is equals to 0.013864 into 10 to the power 9 okay so this delta gv value is here 
now we will put this delta gv in this equation and we will get this r star so r star is equals to minus 2 sigma value is given that is basically solid liquid interface so 0.177 by 0 0.0 zero one three eight six four into ten to the power nine so from here we can get this r star so this r star will be equals to twenty five point five three multiplied by ten to the power nine in meter okay so here this question is very easy but uh, uh, but this question is easy because they did not change any unit so suppose if they will change the units like joule per centimeter square or joule per uh, something okay so you need to change that unit and you need to cross verify that units in all steps like in delta gv in delta gv you, you are, are you getting the joule per meter cube or not uh, and this uh, putting uh, this in this uh, unit plays important role that's why you have to check the units at all time okay so here i did not uh, tell you about the unit chain because all the units are in same uh, same manner okay so we need not to change any unit here so this is the question this is very 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 easy question and this is the way of solving this r star for suppose if they will give the cubic shape this is for a spherical shape suppose if they will give the cubic shape so you can put this v as a cube and this a as 6a square and accordingly you can differentiate and you will find that minus 4 sigma by delta gv and that is for uh, that is for cubic shape okay so this is for a spherical this is for cubic shape so i hope you uh, got the point you got the concept behind this question this type of question suppose if you find any problem in this type of question or any of the metallurgical engineering questions you can send us on our instagram page we will try to solve those questions separately in individual videos and we will try to supply you through our youtube channel thank you please subscribe this channel and and share this video with your friends juniors thank you